Welcome back to another episode. Today's topic is the Mind Stone. In fact, the Infinity Mind Stone. So, uh, this Infinity series deals with my Infinity FX50 and some of the projects that I've had with it recently. And today's topic is based on the Mind and the Mind Stone uh, because the Mind Stone focused on discerning life. And in my particular case, uh, the Mind Stone ended up being what actually ties my vehicle to the wheels and the tires that are actually on the road. And that is this, a lug nut. Now, uh, the lug nuts I actually had on my recent visit to uh, Costco to actually get my tires rotated, uh, they indicated that my lug nuts were uh, bloated. So I'm not sure if you can actually see that, but they're kind of a little bit bigger than they normally are. Um, most likely due to all the cold water they, the vehicle has been uh, experiencing probably for the last six or seven years. Uh, so the recommendation was to change them out. So what I actually ended up doing, went to eBay, uh, found myself a nice set of replacement lug bolts. But that's not the only thing I wanted to do. Uh, previously, I wanted to actually have wheel locks. And the reason being is because the tires are very large. They're 21 inches. And the tires themselves are not cheap either. They're running about for a pair of four, probably anywhere between $1,200 and $1,400. And so not met wanting that investment to disappear, I wanted to make sure I invested in wheel locks. So uh, in doing so, I was a little bit disappointed by what was available. This right here is a wheel lock that was uh, made by Infinity. This was the factory wheel lock. I'm not really sure if you can see the difference but this is essentially how shallow everything is. And it actually leaves the bolt um, itself uh, exposed. So not sure if you can really see that. Oh, there we go. Maybe you can see a top down view, but very, very much smaller than the actual lug bolt. Uh, so I didn't want to get something like that. I didn't want to create any additional damage. Uh, so I actually started looking online. And uh, in addition to the infinity lug bolt, uh, I found this one, which actually is about the same size and looked pretty neat, especially with the top there. But the thing I didn't like about this one, if you look closely, uh, the lock itself is on the exterior of the uh, bolt. So what that means is for one reason or another, if that bolt exterior gets worn, it's going to be very difficult to take these off. And I don't want to put a wheel lock on that won't come off because uh, that would be a problem, especially uh, having to deal with any flat tires. So what I ended up going with was actually a combination of the two. Now I actually installed, uh, but I'll show you on a picture as far as what they're installed, but what it essentially is. Uh, the wheel lock's about the size of this, but very similar to this, it has an interior wheel pattern. Uh, the only difference is this is not exposed. This is actually covered up. So the key itself is on the inside of the lug nut. And I actually appreciate that because it's not gonna get worn by the elements the same way as the outside is. So I was able to get that installed and very happy uh, to be protecting the investment now. Uh, but there you have it, the mind zone is how you think. So I wanted to have a lug nut that actually had a key, but I didn't want the key on the outside. I wanted the key on the inside. So I hope you appreciated this lesson. I hope you appreciate the, the photos. I'm very happy to have new lug nuts as well as wheel locks on my FX50. So until the next Infinity Stone, stay tuned. All right, until the next one, bye.